Hi everyone, welcome to RD Technical Learning. So in this video, we are going to see a Java program, how to reverse an array without using any inbuilt function. So before we start writing a Java program, first we will see the explanation part. So let's get started. Let's consider this is our input array with elements 21, 45, 34, 12. So our output array should be reverse array like 12, then 34, then 45 and 21. So now let's see the logic. So here first we will initialize an array. Then we will initialize an empty array with name reverse array. After that, we will take a variable index and initialize with zero. After that, we will iterate input array from last index using for loop. And after that, assign all the elements one by one in reverse array just like this and then we increment index value by one means first the element will store on reverse array of zero then on reverse array of one then reverse or array of two and so on after that to print all the elements of reverse array we will iterate reverse array using for loop. So now let's see the program. So in Eclipse, I am creating a new Java class. reverse array also select man method from here so now our class has created so first as we see earlier first we will initialize one input array. And after that, we will create one empty array with the same length because we are uh, reversing this array so the length will be same for reverse array also And here we will pass the length of input array. After that, we will take one variable index and assign zero here. Now we will iterate input array using for loop. So here int i equal to 0 then i is less than equal to array length minus 1 i plus plus. But here we want to iterate array 
from last index so we will start it from the last index so our last index is I is greater than equal to zero. I minus minus. See, here we are iterating given array from last index. Right. So now what we will do, we will store each element in reverse array. array of R. And we use index plus plus to increase the value of index by one. So then first seven will be store on reverse array then 10 will be stored in reverse array then 34 will be stored in reverse array and then last 12 will be stored in reverse array after that we need to create one more for loop to iterate reverse array because we have to print our output so that's why here I'm taking I equal to zero, then I is less than equal to reverse array dot length minus one I plus plus. After that, system dot out dot print reverse array of i plus here I am adding some spaces You can also print uh, elements from given array if you want, just like that. See, for int i equal to zero, then i is less than equal to array of length. minus one then i plus plus and here system dot out dot print original array to area of i also add some spaces here also we can add one sentence reverse array is okay 
so now i am executing this program just a minute huh. we have to write this sentence outside the for loop otherwise it will print in each iteration so i am remove i am removing it from here here also okay i am printing the statement here out dot print array and here system dot out dot print reverse array okay and that's it okay okay so now i'm executing this program now see the output this is our original array elements 12 34 10 and 7 and this is our reverse array element 7 10 34 and 12 so thanks for watching this video